Hey everybody, so whilst I'm doing my uh, my normal production stuff today, uh, some news just hit the web that is so damn exciting and hopeful, mainly, for the first time in so long about the future of Doctor Who, and I am so damn happy. I love this, and what I'm about to share with you guys, so allow me to backpedal a bit and not just get super fucking hopeful about where Doctor Who is going from this point. So, to start with the revival, let's do a little crash course in the history of Doctor Who. Uh, Russell T. Davies helmed the revival from 2005 to 2010. That was Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant, Ninth and Tenth Doctors. Very, very well-respected era. It's revered, it's loved, it's cherished. Uh, the golden age of Doctor Who for many people. Uh, and then after that, we had Stephen Moffat, uh, who wrote many promising scripts during... Russell T. Davies' run, he was just a, a guy that they got for a few episodes. Every single one of his was a massive hit. He did one for each series of Doctor Who. He wrote um, Empty Child and the Doctor Dances, Girl in the Fireplace, Blink, and uh, Silence and Labyrinth, Forest of Dead. He became the next showrunner. I personally love his stuff. I know he's a bit contentious, but I, I, I love him equally as Russell T. Davies. Uh, he's just a little bit different. He writes different stories than Russell. But I do think I prefer Russell's era just because it feels more home, feels more lively, and ingrained in British culture, whereas Stephen Moffat's was more space and, uh, you know, fantastical and plot-driven, which is fine. You know, I like that too. Um, and then after that, we got Chris Chibnall in 2017 helming Jodie Whittaker seasons. Um, and then pretty much everything went to shit. Just to, I, I, I do that. I know. I understand. I piss people off when I say that. When I'm doing that, I'm just being, I'm just being contentious. I'm being contrarian. But I, I don't think Chris Chibnall is a very good showrunner. I don't particularly love the Jodie Whittaker era. Since making the first Doctor Who video essay, I've since watched uh, Jayatsky's five-hour Doctor Who retrospective on the Jodie Whittaker era so far, season eleven and twelve, and uh, what exactly is so wrong with it. Such an enlightening, enlightening video. I'll watch a five-hour video essay by a person who actually knows what they're talking about uh, uh, rather than watching the whole two series and making my own opinion. But it's in a really informative video, uh, and I've heard nothing but good things about the way it portrays the Jodie Whittaker era, so I've watched that. And uh, understanding what exactly is so wrong with the scripts, I extremely side with Jayetsky's and his points uh, concerning the, the Jodie Whittaker era because I've, I've, I've seen a few episodes and I, I could discern that. Um, but the main thing is that Chris Chibnall is the showrunner right now, and he's not doing a very good job. Anyways, there was some news last month or so that he was stepping down, as well as Jodie Whittaker, after this next season, which is basically uh, the trial of the Time Lord 2, because it's a one big story, apparently. Not sure how it's going to go. Much like all of Jodie Whittaker's seasons, we have no idea how that's going to go. Probably going to be bad, but you know, hasn't haven't seen it yet. Maybe it'll be good. Uh, it would be great for him to go off on a final bang. Maybe have just one good season to make the era worthwhile. Because God, it has just been so dry. <laughs> but uh, he he's stepping down, and we didn't have news about who was replacing him until now. And ladies and gentlemen, it is officially confirmed that Russell T Davies is returning as the showrunner next year. For the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who and onward, with a new Doctor, and I'm f I'm quaking right now. And this is legit. Here, here's the BBC article. Let me get my let me get my webcam, and we're gonna go through this. I have not read past the first paragraph, so we're gonna go through it. Russell T Davies will make an explosive return to screens to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who in 2023 and series beyond. BBC Studios are partnering with Bad Wolf to produce. Multi-award-winning writer Russell T. Davies will take control of the TARDIS once more as the next Doctor Who showrunner, succeeding Chris Chibnall, who departs next year. Russell T. Davies will make an explosive return to screens to celebrate the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who in 2023 years beyond. Responsible for Doctor Who's revival in 2005, he is credited with propelling the show into a global phenomenon and making it one of, the, one of TV's biggest hits. His tenure on the show oversaw a surge in popularity, enjoying huge acclaim and success. The Doctor won the nation's hearts through his masterful relaunch, which led him to create two spin-off series, Torchwood and the Sarah Jane Adventures, during that time. Davies left the show in 2009, a lifelong Doctor Who fan. He has most recently achieved huge success with Years and Years, A Very English Scandal, and It's a Sin, which won Best Drama at the National TV Awards this month. 
But Russell D. Davies says, I'm beyond excited to be back on my favorite show. But we're time traveling too fast. There's a whole series of Jodie Whittaker's brilliant doctor for me to enjoy with my friend and hero, Chris Chibnall, at the helm. I'm still a viewer for now. Chris Chibnall says it's monumentally exciting and fitting that Doctor Who's 60th anniversary will see one of Britain's screenwriting diamonds return home. Russell built the baton that is about to be handed back to him. Doctor Who, the BBC, the screen industry in Wales. And let's be honest, everyone in the whole world have so many reasons to be very excited indeed about what lies ahead. Piers Wenger, BBC director of drama, says, As the 13th Doctor prepares to embark on a new and extraordinary adventure, the winds of change are blowing bringing with them news to delight Doctor Who fans across the globe. We are thrilled that Russell is returning to Doctor Who to build on the huge achievements of Chris and Jodie. Thank you to the two of them and the team in Cardiff for all they continue to do for the show, and hello, Russell. It's wonderful to have you back. So, this... So, they, they, they say heavily that it's to celebrate the 60th anniversary. What excites me most is and series beyond. I don't know entirely... He's returning a showrunner. No, nobody knows for how long exactly. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's here. It's it's. We're not losing Doctor Who. It's not over. And honestly, it's been. I'm gonna. I'm getting genuinely emotional. It has been so long since I have actually been excited for a Doctor Who series, and I am brimming with confidence about what is coming and the amazing stories that are going to come from Russell and the new Doctor. I just can't wait. It's so exciting. It's thoroughly exciting. But yeah, this is insane. I'm so excited for this. I couldn't have imagined anything else. And I'm super excited to see the 14th Doctor announcement when it finally comes out. And I, I guess I am excited for Series 13 to see how this will tie into Russell's series. And it, it finally feels like there's hope. There's hope for Doctor Who. And that's awesome. So this is the best news I've had all goddamn month. I'm so excited. Thank you for watching. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye.